Hello and welcome to another TFTV cast. I am once again joined by Zatu and Looster, myself being Patty. Uh, and we're going to be watching what should be both a very important game and a hopefully a very close game between two teams that are set up to be... Uh, have been rivals maybe perhaps uh, for the season, I think. Um, the last time these guys met... Uh, uh, Rat Jail took a 5-1 uh, victory on Metalworks here, um, and King's Crew were the losers on that receiving end here. So we'll have to see how that will go for them. Um, uh, Zatu, would you like to go down the uh, Rat Jail roster here that we're dealing with? Uh, of course. So on Rat Jail, looks like we got Alpha, and I believe we have Speedy on Soldiers. We got Shamu and Kev on Scouts, Alex EXE on Demo, and May on Medic. Yes, and on King's Crew, we have Bear on Medic, uh, Jarrett on Demo, Trip on Roamer, Sai on Pocket, Yosh on Scout, and Sandblast on Scout. Um, we recently just came off of a, a cast uh, here, Zatsu, of watching King's Crew play against. Uh, Dunk Masters recently, uh, in which it was a very intense and close game going to a golden cap at the very end of it. So uh, what are your thoughts on, on sort of their performance in that match going into this match here? You know, Kings Crew, they looked really good at the start of that game. They um, they played well, they played together, they played like a team, and they um, ended up um, winning out that half 3-0 um, before the timer ran out, which was good to see from them. And then they kind of fell apart in the second half, you know? It was just to see, I hope, you know, they can stay away from tilting themselves in this um, upcoming match. You know, if they start to lose a round or something goes wrong, you know, I kind of felt like that was what happened last game. So if they can avoid tilting and stay, keep their heads in the game and play like they know they can play, then I think they have a good chance to kind of, what I would say is an upset over Rat Jail here. Yeah, especially considering the, the prior result in the match. This is a different map, however. Metalworks flow is much different than Sunshine flow, and it'll be interesting to see how Sunshine uh, plays a role with just the, the slower paced mids and uh, the more open doorways throughout most of the map compared to Metalworks, which has a very fast paced middle and uh, a lot more tight and closed doorways that you're dealing with. Um, yeah, I, I definitely would say that Rat Jail in general, though, they are a bit of a dark horse this season and have been. Um, you know, they've gotten a few good results against these teams. I mean, their result against, against King's Crew here was quite impressive. Again, being a 5 1. Um, but you know, there's King's Crew has been on the upswing lately, so it's possible that maybe they've worked out those kinks that have been messing them up, and and maybe they'll they'll bring a whole new level of gameplay here. Um, either way, I do think it's going to be a relatively close match. I think the uh, you know, I'm thinking about players that might uh, be to look out for here, Zatu. Any thoughts on that? Yeah, you know, honestly, you just have to. Um kind of hit tab and see who you got to look out for. Alpha's playing Soldier with 15 ping. We got um, Yosh with 15 ping as well. Those are going to be the big 15 ping gamers that we're going to look out for. But those two in particular, Alpha and Yosh, big sniper mains. You know, I'm going to look to see some off-classing, see some uh, some uh, snipes going off. Um, but, you know, I mean, I think we gotta we got to always watch Psy Guy um, Pocket. He's got the shotgun equipped at all times. He's always make, looking to make things happen. Yeah, Psy did a lot for King's Crew uh, just recently against Dunk Masters, and especially in the first half of that game, you know, he was just pulling off so many plays, so many sick ubers, and he's always a force to be reckoned with on the King's Crew side of things. Um, one of the more interesting matchups to me in the server is um, actually Jarrett versus Alex.exe. Um, do you have any thoughts on that yourselves, Zatu? Uh, you know, I was watching, after watching the last... Um... Last match we had with Jarrett, I wasn't really impressed with him overall. I felt like his rollouts were a little sloppy. I don't know if he just hasn't been practicing as much, hasn't been pugging as much as he usually does, but he wasn't putting out as much damage compared to um, Bull. But we'll see if he can change it around this game. Um, I think Alex.exe just has the overall just straight DM, it, DM advantage. Um, he just kind of plays that whole walk forward and shoot at things. That could be a disadvantage well if you get caught out, but we'll have to see where that goes as well. Um, on top of that, Patty, got to ask you, how many heals 
Is Psy Guy going to take this game? <laughs> That's a very good question. Hard to estimate, but I, my guess would be uh, uh, probably above 30% myself. Uh, Psy's always loving them heals. And to be fair, he does do a lot with them, usually. So I definitely think Psy's going to be very heal-heavy compared to, I believe, uh, Speedy, who should be his counterpart on pocket. Speedy's a much more roamer-centric pocket, um, playing more long leash and and just getting deeper than size. They play two very different styles, I believe. So it'll be interesting to see how those two go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Um, in terms of Alex and Jarrett, one of the more interesting things is Jarrett um, versus Alex. Is Alex is a lot more uh, a very aggressive demo man, very reliant on DM, and, and he's, at times he can be out of position. So it's, it's quite interesting to see how that'll play into this, with Jarrett being more conservative himself and, and more trap-oriented from my experience. So I think the, the play, these teams play in two very, very different ways. You know, um, Ratchel being more uh, more uh, scout-focused, and uh, I feel like uh, King's Crew is a lot more uh, projectile-focused as a team. Um, I would agree with that. You know, I think both the soldiers on um, Ratchel are, I don't say expendable, but, you know, they're going to they're gonna let them go and do their thing and make some space. You know, I don't really think they have a real pocket roll quote unquote as hard as um uh Psy guy takes his pocket roll you know we don't have a soldier walking through taking all the ubers mostly gonna have shamu and kev just sitting right next to the medic as long with alex exe i'm gonna say like the heels probably about 50 percent between shamu and alex exe on on um on rat jail while their soldiers are going to be more uh space makers as opposed to um you know real combo focused yeah, I 100% agree with that. You know, that's definitely a good comparison to draw. Another another interesting matchup to me here is uh, May versus Bear. I mean, both of them are top level medics um, in their own right, but uh, May is May is a bit of a, a beast to be reckoned with in terms of the surfs and his overall mechanics. He's very well known within the scene just to be able to hit a surf anytime he likes and and just clutch pops in general. Uh, Bear might be overall a little lacking in that department, I think. I don't know if you agree with that, uh, Zatu. Um, I can see that. I can see. Um, I think May definitely has the mechanics. You know, he's he's been playing the fragging classes for for a long time. You know, he's um he's used to that. You know, he's used to the the movement, and the mechanics. But at the same time, I think Bear just has the. For me, he's gonna have the edge in just the overall medic experience, positioning, and um, the heal. You know, you. It it's it sounds it sounds um, trivial almost, but Bear's gonna be those ki that kind of person that's gonna be healing the right person at the right time. He's gonna be the one hitting the arrows in the clutch situations. So for me, it's gonna be I'm gonna give Bear the edge here. Okay, uh, very good assessment there. I think. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking in terms of the roamers here, it's a very interesting matchup as well. Trip versus Alpha. Um, I haven't seen Alpha on Soldier in a very, very, very long time myself. But he has been making some waves, I think, with some really big plays, big bombs. He's a bit of a, like a, a flank pusher, flank hider uh, himself, I think. And, and Trip being more of a flank watcher. So it'll be interesting to see how those two styles contrast. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, um, it's going to be Alpha waddling. Or alpha jumping, trip waddling around the corners. We'll see who can feed the most. My money's on trip here. As we go to this first mid, who are we watching? I, I like to watch Alex. Let's get some of that Alex action here and see what he can do on the middles versus Jared early on. Bear in mind, we've got to watch out for those fast rollouts from the roamers. So Alex getting a mid here. Uh, he's getting Ooh, really some fast stickies out speedy. on the Jared. Jared's so low. Alex wants that kill. Oh my god. Alex just keeps spamming Jarrett. And Jarrett just has to be healed. And it's looking real grim for him with Alex still getting the return trade there from uh, from Psy Guy. Two picks on the side of King's Crew going down. Now two picks going on the side of, uh, of Ratchel. But Ratchel just has all the positioning right now. King's Crew being put into a corner at Choke. And oh my god, Alpha's committing with Kev. But the HP is so low on Ooh, both huge. teams. It's all up to Trip. And they're just gonna have yeah, to back out huge... and play for the Uber right now, so they that was can... a... that was a huge mid from um, Rail Jail. They're gonna be taking this mid here with both their scouts alive as the rest of the remains of Kings Crew pushing in through Cafe and use their Uber immediately and try to get the force off. But I don't think they're gonna get the force. Trip just gonna have to go in and feed. He's gonna get nothing, but it does give enough time for Bear to escape from Valley. So they keep their medic alive. Sam Boss is already building up a gun on last as we see Kings Crew push. Oh, excuse me, Rail Jail pushing through Choke here with a full Uber ad. Yeah, I mean, 
bear just barely gets away there with the uber, but yeah, now they're now they're in a really poor position right now, waiting for the Ratchel team to push in on full ad, and here they come peeking on the on the top right here, jumping in with the demo deep gun, putting a stop for a moment here, and Alpha in so deep, but just kind of craters to the ground. Point pressure going off, and Jared holding W, trying to do all the damage he can, and that damage is enough that that's a complete and clean wipe with Sai and Yosh following up on the frags there. Yeah, that was a that was a uh, a very strange push from um, Rat Jat there. You know, they just kind of walked in and stood in top right with their Uber and didn't really go forward enough. You know, Alpha was the only one that really went forward and he just died to some stickies on point. Um, rather unfortunate, but as we see, um, Trip getting aggressive here. There is a sniper on forward spawn, but he used to get bombed by Trip and die. Speedy is going to be back in that respawn timer for another 23 seconds as um, we're capping up the point here and Bear's going to be pushing through um, Cafe with this full Uber ad. Um, and the rest of King's crew is going to be coming in with him. A huge bomb here from Trip, as well as um, Saiga. They're going to go forward. Alex, he's caught out. He's just standing on the low ground. What is he doing? He's just going to feed for no reason. They don't even get the force here, and King's crew is just going to be walking in top right into last for with three up on the side of um, Ratchale. Kev does stop the cap from behind, though, and now he's lurking in through the lower door, trying to get out and back to last with his team. And, and so that's going to give, uh, that was a really clutch play there from Kev being real sneaky, just stopping Yosh from capping. And now now it's even Ubers it's looking like here uh, with Yosh now coming up on the sniper here for yeah, the uh, last push. Yeah, Jot Rail is going to have their Uber up now. No response. Oh, Kev's going to, as I said, Kev's going to switch to Engineer and Pyro on Shamu. Mm, how, how do you, what do you think of that? What do you think of that, that pickup right there, the Pyro? on Sunshine Last. I have never been a big fan of Pyro myself on this last. Um, I've found that it doesn't really achieve very much and it's it just makes it more difficult to deal with uh, sort of sacks and plays in my opinion. I would just rather a scout there any day of the week. Um, yeah. Because if the Pyro misses his air blast and the gun doesn't kill the soldier fast enough, Yosh peeking though really deep here oh, gets caught that's... out by uh, Speedy. And uh, yeah. Speedy wants more here, trying to peek on the Sandblast there, doesn't manage to get any kill uh, follow-up there. So one pick here on the side of King's Crew Alpha peeking up uh, with heals, uh, looking like he wants to counter sack, but he's going to decide against it and uh, looks like a full reset here. Yosh coming back onto the Sniper once again. Looks like King's Crew taking it slow for this first round. Yeah, they feed Yosh there and um, they can't, I mean... Um, Rancho can't really do anything once they get those picks. So they got they got no scouts. They got a sniper and they got an engineer. They, they're just gonna be chilling on last for a while. Here, headshot round. Yosh is the only one in lobby with. What are these stickies? They're on the ceiling. What? Are, what? That's some uh some galaxy brain plays there from Alex as um, Yosh gets headshot again. And Shamu's gonna be peeking aggressive here, but he's not really gonna get an angle on anyone as King's crew is so far out. They're all the way back on second point. We're just chilling, and Yoshi's gonna probably come up. Like, oh, here goes a peek from this um, Shamu here. Now he's just gonna back up. Yoshi's switching it up though. He's not sticking with the sniper. He's gonna go with the spot. Yeah, this will be interesting. Speedy though, checking the class. Will he? Yeah, he's checking to see if Yoshi is on spy, and I do believe he figured it out that uh, Yoshi is on spy, assuming that uh, he didn't, you know, overlook that. And now Yoshi trying to get in from lower. I do believe that. Ratchel should know. They should know that Yosh yeah. is fire. They're checking yeah, you... with pistol and other oh, things. Yeah, they got a pyro <laughs> spy checking. Yosh just lurking by the spawn here. He's creeping. Oh, Lost that speedy pick, but nothing's gonna happen <laughs> of it. The, the the clutch check there, um, it was so so important. Yeah. All right. Well, Kev is just taking a nap right now. He's on engineer. He's just his DPM going down as we speak. He hasn't done damage in the past six minutes probably as we, not six minutes how long what am i looking at three minutes as we're sitting here um they're peeking aggressively with their sniper shamu again but i mean there's no angle you can get here there's not not really anything you can really work with the sniper it's such a, like a hard angle to get and bears just chilling and on un, the unsnipable position right now from from shamu's perspective and it's I guess we're gonna wait for Yosh to do something, but King's Crew's been so passive with these sniper picks. They're not really trying to get work an angle in the lobby with the rest of their team. So let's see how they walk forward here, top right. Yosh is gonna be looking at this choke point, top right. Let's see if anybody overcommits here and gets a uh, gets their head taken off. 
Yeah, Yosh peeking in here, uh, going very, very deep, trying to see if he can spot anything. Nobody's showing their heads to him right now. He's just creeping slowly but surely. Some pressure out from uh, Speedy on him, but, I mean, Kingscrew are just so content to just keep working it nice and slow. They want this round. They want this round. They don't want to mess Ooh. it up. Trip goes down in lobby to a aggressive um, bomb from Speedy. Um, that's going to be a See if they, um, the rest of um, Rail Joe gets aggressive here. Oh, Alpha gets absolutely owned with a headshot and it's going to hit the skybox. Did not do anything with his counter bomb. Kev is also very low, but um, Yosh gets killed by Shenmue again. The sniper is not really working out for Yosh. He's been, uh, he's been uh, missing as they say in the, in the yeah. business. Yeah, Shamu going down now to Sandblast. Two picks for uh, King's crew here. They should be pressuring off this, trying to see if they can work some more picks off of them. And it looks like they are peaking. Sandblast in deep, Speedy goes down. An, a, another pick, still keeping it at two two picks here. King's crew want to keep making this work, but the pressure from Alpha is trying to slow them down. And uh, Shamu's going to be coming up here again on the sniper, and, and, and we'll have to see if he can shut down this push. And it looks like, yeah, King's crew is just... They're just, I'm out. That's good. Yeah. Kings were playing so slow, Zatu. So yeah, slow. Yeah, Kings who did the classic six players through one door, and um, Alpha shot one rocket and did about 400 damage, and they had to back out. You know, I'm not really sure I like that. We'll see if they're trying to clear some stickies top um, top left here from the defender's perspective, but Alex, he is, he is just laying them down again, putting the carpet down. Um, you see a, looks like a feed from Yosha. Double stack onto, oh, May drops. Oh my god, May goes no. down from the two-man sack from Yosha and Trip. May playing that safe sniper spot there on the floor, and it just cost him, because two players got in, the gun wasn't enough, and this is going to be full ad now on the, with the Trip and Yosh respawning into this push, and we'll, we'll have to see how King's crew approach it. That was incredible, a really good, incredible uh, two-man sack yeah, there. That was a really good play from Kings through there. Pressuring top right with um, their whole team, and then they had two players come in from a different angle and get get some uh, some good damage on to May. That was really well played for them. We'll see where they take this. Looks like they're just going to run in top right here with the scout. Where's their trouble? They don't have a double super as side. This push is so dropped. sloppy. Oh. Unbelievable no. there. I was on uh, Jared's bomb there, and he just looked so, so, so lost. Sandblast rushing ahead. It is uh, a characteristic of his to sometimes rush ahead of his team and not ask if they're ready. And it looks like nobody was ready for that. That full ad just being completely thrown away. Jared just not even able to get into that until the very end. But they do decide to just get out, lose no numbers there, and now they can just keep playing the slow, slow chokehold of a game on last. Yeah, they had um, they had approximately eight minutes to decide what they're going to do with that Uber, and they decided the incorrect option there. That was <laughs> that was honestly that was a terrible Uber. I don't know what they like. You just you just put the demo man in front of you and just click right click on him, and he runs in invincible, and you follow up with the scout. I'm not sure what they were planning there. They just looked uncoordinated and not like they just weren't paying attention. So we'll see if they can break the stalemate once again. You got the gun going up in the exact same spot. Trip as indeed, trying to get May and May dies again. No way. Oh my God, Yosh and Trip are saying May. You know what? You're gonna have more deaths than us this game. Yeah, that was. Oh, this is really. Uber coming sure out. Like Alex Uber, going down. 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 Two picks. Still Uber for Bear. Sandblast getting tons of cap time. This is looking grim for Ratchel, but the HP on Kingscrew is so low that the cleanup kills just come out here from Ratchel. Trip and Yosh alive. Let's see what they try to do. Trip just lurking, going in deep now in the last, seeing if he can make something happen, and he just gets right out. He's strict jumping away, and Yosh now May. on May, living with 21 HP. Oh my god, that was just, that was so scary. May, May had a Vietnam flashback right there. I can guarantee you. He's like, oh no, <laughs> no, no, not Yosh, not again, please. Yeah, that, was another, he lives. that was another rushed Uber from King's crew, and um, and rail jail they just they just had the health advantage they had the resupply cabinets and everybody on king's crew was low as they're pushing into mid here with the heal advantage and this uh 50 percent uh jerry's gonna get caught out for but speedy's gonna take a bow to the noggin and go down as um trip's gonna get him behind he got some good damage on the may looks like he's gonna be pushing back forward the picture from trip but may saves a life on a sliver of hp and king's crew gonna be able to hold this midpoint for now and i think um, Braille Jail's gonna gonna be able to stay in here because they have the Uber. I don't think Bear's gonna want to be too far forward here, but but Jail can't really do much because they only have three players alive. It's probably gonna sail me out once again here. I hope 
I hope May is able to use this Uber Charge, because I think at this point he's dropped more than he's used. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Sorry, that was toxic. I apologize. It's toxic, but it's true. And anyway, here we have Shamu on the offensive spy here, coming out of second into Valley, sneaking through Yosh. He's creeping, and Trip does go down. This could be a good opportunity for a double whammy play here with Shamu uncloaking. He uncloaks? Bear turns Bear around, though. They know. And uh, it's nothing's gonna come of it. Um, this could give uh, Kingscrew a unique opportunity to get a counterplay in here if they pressure on the pick. And it looks like Sai and company are moving through Cafe right now to make something happen. That's a. That's, oh, here we see a bomb from Sai. He's gonna try to make some room here, but he's standing on the low ground, shooting upward directs. So that's not ideal. As Chip is gonna come in and bomb the soldier on the flank and go down. That was, I guess, I guess I, I can see that was a, like a distraction play there. But yeah, like I was going back to saying at the start of the game, Bear's got the experience. He's a big nerd. He's got his volume cranked super high. He's going to hear those spies every time. Yeah, that was real, real good for them that they spotted out that spy. Otherwise, this would have been a different, very different scenario for King's Crew. But again, they're just working these one-man sacks right now, and yeah. they're content to keep doing that as long as they're on a, on a positive position. We do have Kev on Sniper, though. Rolling out. Uh, it's interesting to see Ratchel with these off classes in, in defensive positions. I'm not a big fan of it myself, but maybe this is some play that they've gone over Ooh, and they really like trip. it. But trip in deep, trying to get the stick bomb the off, hits the direct. May gets forced on 27 HP. Wow, real, real good force there from Trip, and and May's not having it today. He's not no, he having a great not. game. I mean, honestly, I think in that situation, I hate to say it. But you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't use a Reaper there. Um, Trip had already used three rockets in the air. There was no way that May was gonna die there, and he just he panicked. He's been used. He's been dropped already twice. He's not gonna drop again. You know, we'll see. We see um, Kings from pushing in as Rat Jack's gonna be getting out through Shutter. Uh, they're gonna not gonna lose anybody for this force. They're gonna get out onto last. Already at 65% though. They're building up. Um, Kings is gonna be, have to be fast here if they wanna get in without. Um, before um, they get the Uber on this blue team here, as they're coming in top left already, they're getting very far forward. I like this Uber, they're getting onto the point immediately. It's some good cap time, but they drop Yosh as the first frag of this, and the Uber's gonna come out from May, another botched last push. Yeah, I mean, really what just happened there was just, at the end of the day, May managed in those last few seconds to get the Uber, and that's just the end of that push there for King's Crew. They needed to win that round or kill May. Uh, within you know the initial seconds of their uber and they didn't and you know they're doing a real good job of backing out though and they didn't lose anybody other than yosh and they're, they're just in such a a good and positive position right now to keep working this i mean it, it is disappointing it's a very slow game but uh i mean king's crew are just playing their position of power here and uh trying to work that last yeah, we're gonna see a gun up again from Rat Pack here. They're gonna be building it up. It's a different position here. I like this position a little bit. The Uber's gonna come out right away from King's Crew though. They kill the gun immediately. The counter Uber's gonna come out from um, Rat Chat here, and they're gonna be losing out on Jarrett and Trip. But Alex does go down on the other side, so it's gonna actually get Alex kills himself. <laughs> I'm not sure how that happened, but Sai now sure fighting in the lower lobby, trying to get Kev, secures Kev, but Sandblast with the immediate uh, debt there, so it just kind of equalizes that pickup, but Sai looks like he's creeping into lower, he's going for a bomb. Uh, pressuring point doesn't look like much is going to come of it. Um, yeah, Sai's just going to feed on the last point, and somehow Bear has gone down to a 20% disad. Uh... And right. the chaos uh, <laughs> there, he must have lost track of his players, and... And uh, now he's at a bit of a dissent. I don't think it's going to amount to anything, though, for, you know, just considering. I mean, Sunshine is a very difficult last to push out of and arguably even into. It's so big, it's so wide, and you have so many doors to cover that, I mean, it's going to be really difficult. I mean, I understand the King's Crew approach here of just slowly but surely, you know, putting them into a submission <laughs> hold. You're a trip going Trip <laughs> stands still and gets piped by Alex.exe. Again, this 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 trap on the ceiling. Um, Alex.exe is embiggening his brain here and putting stickies on the ceiling to get the bomb onto him from top left. I'm <laughs> uh, this is I've never seen this trap before. This is wild. Anyway, I, Kev's moving his gun up. I don't like this. I don't like this spot because if May's stuck behind the point, the gun cannot see him. And if May's back in the back corner, as soon as the soldier bombs in from top left on the defender's perspective, the soldier's gonna get launched by the bullets of the gun, 
to the back left, right onto May's head. I and I don't like this holding spot. In the corner, you, if a soldier gets onto you, you're just stuck. You get bounced straight up and you're stuck in the corner. Here comes a bomb. Look at the gun just shoots him right into into May's path. What the Spy on <laughs> Sandblast getting caught out here by Kev. And he's on the run, doesn't get out, but there's a counter spy here on Speedy. Sai walks right past him! <laughs> and Speedy gets away. Sai dropping a question mark in chat. And Shamu now just so aggro. Two shots, Yosh! And Alpha indeed doing so much damage to Jerry. He might even secure the kill. Gets the kill on Jerry and the force on Bear. What the hell was that? And Alpha's getting out and living. Oh, not for long. <laughs> Sandflats picks him off sniper <laughs> respawner. Yeah, that was but like, my god, what a play there. there from Shamu and Alpha. That just uninhibited aggression there. That was so unexpected for me and probably for King's crew that it just worked. And now it looks like uh, May coming in here with the full Uber and with his team through Valley. They pop straight through in deep. Alex in so deep, but King's crew are ready for it and they're just going to kite away and play the leapfrog game. Sandblast is on sniper though and if Ratchet is aware of that, they could turn this into a dry, but uh, we'll have to see if Ratchet has the confidence to pull that move off. Yeah, that you, honestly, if there's a sniper on mid, you gotta, you gotta, you're gonna have to use Ratchet. Saw the sniper, identified it, and had to use early, but it's really, Sandblast is just kind of walking around in Valley, he's gonna stay alive. Wow, Sweetie's up. Sweetie's pissed about that one. He was down to very single digit HP, and they're gonna have to, King's crew's not gonna have to push with a sniper though. I'm not sure how I feel about this. They got five players in through Valley. Um, they're gonna have to watch out for the demo spam as Psy Guy's making some room. He's like, guys, come on in. Look at all this room I've made for you. I'm standing still in the middle point. Let's go, team. He but wants more. He over. wants more. Yeah, but May's gonna get really close to his Uber charge. I'm not sure if they're gonna be able to do this, but they do have the pick. But Shamu's gonna get the fourth spawn, though. So the fourth spawn's in, and Psy's not gonna be ready for that as it's, uh, he comes right out of spawn, gets the kill. Ooh, Kev has to stay alive here, and he's gonna get dropped by May with the heavy out of fourth spawn for Oh. He's gonna God. clean up Trip and Jared's gonna go down as well. Bear's gonna have to hightail it out of there as Sandblast gets the headshot down. See, we're playing Highlander. <laughs> we're playing Highlander here. <laughs> Sweetie's Another gonna headshot from choke. Sandblast That's hitting heavy. the sniper shot. <laughs> He's gonna waddle through choke, get headshot. You know what, Speedy? I'm not sure it's going through your mind there, but you're gonna be like, yeah, they got a sniper. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna walk through choke on heavy. And now Kev is um, playing his sixth class of the match on spy, crouching next to a bush on spy. Um, what do you make of this play here, Kev? <laughs> I think he's, he's just, you know, looking through the fence there. I don't know why he needs to be on spy to do this. But, um, okay, now he's starting to maneuver into the cafe area. It's so many off classes this game, and Kev is just slowly but surely on the uh, C and D there trying to make his way. He's slowly. just. Well, I don't even know what he's doing. He's just getting info. He's, he's looking. He's looking. It's kind of creepy if you really think about it. But anyway, yeah. oh, he's, oh, he's, oh, he's, he's, he's making bit. some commitment here. Oh. He's strolling up. Okay, nice and easy. Oh. Oh. Nice and easy. Slow and steady wins the race, that is what they say, yeah. and we shall see if that is the case. Uh, Kings looking Kingsbury. like they're working a sack of their own right now into Valley, and we'll see if uh, if, if Kev can get in the chaos. Oh, yeah, <laughs> oh my god, we got floats! And he just gets <laughs> caught out. The spy place is not working for anybody right I'm now. I'm telling you, man, Bear is not going to get caught out by that stuff. He's got his volume cranked up. He's not backstabbing him. It's not going to work as Trip feeds again. Unfortunate, and we're again looking through the fence at each other, waiting for someone to Yosh do something. Yosh snuck in behind Zatu through lower. Look at him right now. Where is he? Oh, he is. How did he get there? Nobody. They don't know about him. There's. Hmm. What the heck is this? Do they, they know him? They're looking behind. I think. They, I think they know. Sign now peeking in through the cap area. Oh, here comes gets trip. a bomb off on Alex. Yosh is in now. Alex Solo goes down Yosh's to got the force. Sandblast. And the force coming up. This is really good for King's crew. Uh, having a much better Uber. I know Sandblast wants to chase this, but they're going to decide against it. They do still have a demo pick, though. And if they can capitalize off this pick right now, it's possible this can be converted into a round. And it looks like Sai saying, let's go, team. Let's go. Get through this top right side. And they're trying to take a fight, but the sniper now just kills Bear. Bear goes down. And it's all falling apart again, maybe, for King's crew here. Yep. Absolute chaos. Shamu cleans up Yosh and Sandblast the last one alive on Kings for going down Alpha with the taunt. Big K taunt, K Dude, <laughs> he says. And uh, that might get on Sandblast Nurse, we'll have to see, but man, that was 
that sniper play there, and they just all overcommitted to that. Kingsford just overcommits to these pushes, Zatu. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I didn't really see much from like they they kind of walked in there and stood top left again. Didn't really focus too much um, on the same targets. Um, we're gonna see a crits here from May, and it's gonna be on Alex. Not you see what he's gonna do. I'm expecting them to go through cafe or choke here. I don't know. Mm, I don't. There's no nobody knows. They're gonna be pushing here. They sh on the side of um, rail jail. They're gonna come in through. They're gonna. They gotta start going now. Bear's already at 50%. There's a sniper though on Yosh. This is gonna be difficult to do. As it looks like they're gonna come through choke here with this crits. Again, they're taking their time though. Bear's getting closer. What are they? They're, what are they waiting for? It's possible they're trying to play a mind game right now. I wouldn't put that past maybe this mm. team. Make them think we're still on Uber and then try and test Bear's reaction time. That could be Bear. possible. I don't know. Bear's got 33 ping. What are we gonna do here? You know, we're gonna they're gonna hear because looks like they're gonna try to send a sack through choke or cafe. Is the sniper working in, in choke here? Kev's gonna get onto the sniper. He's just gonna back out now. Nothing, nothing going there. And this crits though. I mean, I, eventually someone's gonna bomb in on the side of Kingsford, and they're gonna see the beam, and they're gonna be like, "That's crits." As Yosh goes down in choke. To Shamu, Shamu just runs in, clicks on Yosh. Yosh is gonna go down. This this could be the crits push right here. Yeah, soldier really in deep. Alex speaking now with the crits goes off, but the Uber's Ooh. just there, ready to slay them in size, ready for frags, and he's going in deep with Sandblast. They get two, and then they're resetting now and trying to reset their HP and positioning. Uh, May and company still in. This could be very precarious for them. Kev committing in, kind of feeding with Speedy. I don't agree with this from Rat Jail. This could go very south, and Cyan Company should really just be going forward right now. They have so many picks, and that's exactly what they're going to be doing. Going in from the left side here, Shamu getting that early info, and they call it off. Yeah, wow. you, don't, you, don't, you don't take that fight down to demo there. That was very risky on the side of um, Railjat. You know, they were they were pressing their luck there, but it, I mean, it's, it kind of worked out for them as they're going to have the crits advantage here. But I mean, Bear's right behind them with the Uber. They're only 10% away. Looks like Alpha's going to be peeking here. Alpha's going to be peeking with this crits. What? Ooh, Bear's close, but no, they're going to back up. May is still on the yeah he's still on the crits. I'm Uber coming scout. in from lower Zatu. Yeah, Two scouts come. indeed. They haven't used yet. Getting a bit of cap time. The gun's not going down though. This could be very grim. Counter crits coming out. Bear needs to not miss a flash. And Yosh does go down there. Jared also looking to get caught out here by Speedy. Be surfing away. Hits a pipe. He's oh, he's away. alive! Oh my lord! Jared barely escapes with his life, grabbing a kit. And uh, wow, that was uh, wow, just crazy gameplay from both teams. Know, I I'm not sure what's going on. I feel like Jared's just not doing... He's either not a part of the Ubers, he's not doing enough with the Ubers. These guns are taking so long to go down, and Yoshi and Sandblast can't get across the point while um, while that gun's up. But May is going to switch off the crits onto the Uber charge, but he took so long to swap. He's gonna. He's only going to be at 35% while um, Bear's coming up close to 90 here. We'll see if they want to do a dot push again if they realize that they have this add. But I don't know. It looks like they're gonna be too far back. I don't think. I don't think they. They. They really know what's going on with the. I mean, it's hard. There's impossible. It's they, they are gonna know that. But um, looks like this is gonna let it even out here. May's gonna come up on this Uber right now. He's waiting and spawn for it. And we'll see. This big dispenser pick here. That should be a sack. I would expect him to go in and, and try to do something with this. As Trip just gonna stand still in the corner and take spam rockets, buffing his damage taken stat. Again. Yep. Chip's taking damage. And nothing's gonna happen. Yeah, and it's uh, just such a slow, slow, grueling game. The gun does go down his side. That should open it up, and Yosh is in deep. He he wants to kill me once more. Trip in deep as well. So much damage. Yosh might be Ooh, able Alex to capitalize. He gets Alex in, in the chaos here, and that is two for one, but that's a demo pick. It's gonna be very difficult for any sort of uh, follow-up here from Ratchel. Ooh, they're walking past these sticky- oh, they see him, okay. Yeah, I don't know, It's they're two down here on King's Crew too. There's nothing they can really do with this demo pick, unfortunately. So, um... Kat's gonna build another gun in his probably fourth sentry gun spot he's chosen tonight. I like this one better than the other spots, but I mean, it's it's um, it's better at denying the bombers that um, May's fallen prey to a couple of times. So we'll see. It, it is a little it is a little bit easier to get spam though. So we're we'll have to be um, holding closer to the doorways on the side of um, Jatrat here. But 
We wait for more Ubers to come up. We have a sniper on the side of Yosh. We'll see if he's actually able to hit a headshot this time. Yeah, here he is again, peeking this left side, seeing if he can get anything from it. And he does! He gets the Ooh, speedy, speedy headshot. Speedy challenges him, and Yosh wants a little more. He's trying to see if he can pick up Alex. That, that pick would set this whole push in motion. Not a lot of pressure on Yosh right now, other than Alex himself, and that's so dangerous for Alex. So Yosh is kind of just getting the freedom to do whatever he wants uh, yeah, a little bit. Shamu on the counter sniper goes down Ooh, though. He's Yosh picks force. him off, Make and the gun's down. This could set up Alpha kind of feeding in a lobby. I'm not sure what this play is. He's so low, he's going to go down two picks and the gun down. I mean, Kings have got to be aggressive on this. And it looks like they kind of want to start waltzing in through the top right. Sandblast going deep, getting cap time. They haven't even used. Oh no, my god, they then they Jared. pop they in Jared. here. Kev going down here. Kings are just obliterating them. Sandblast with so much cap time, 1v1ing Shamu. And he's not getting the better of it, but I mean, Sandblast just got his teammates with him, and they roll up and say, all right, you know what, this isn't a fair fight anymore. Let's just get the round. Yeah, Sandblast saw the scout the scout and medic um, 2v2, and he's like, yeah, I'm not taking them away from my soldiers to arrive. So they went out that round, finally. We got a round on the board for King's Crew, and we're gonna go to the second mid. We're gonna see um, Jarrett arrive about the same time as Alex. Alex the big sticky onto Jarrett though. Jarrett's gonna have to wait for both. The soldier comes in from Speedy Buddy. Whoops! Jarrett, Jarrett one lives HP. with one HP. Oh my Speedy, lord! Speedy, what are you shooting at? You just shot the floor, and um, Jarrett's gonna go in, and he's gonna crater as well. But Saiga's guy's gonna get really aggressive here. Alex is really far forward, but I think he's gonna get caught out. But he's gonna get, acquire some heals. But but Rat Jack's just three players left. They have to back out here. As Bears already pushing. Through cafe with a scout and Psy guy. Yeah, and uh, Psy just peeking here a little bit. Uh, but it looks like King's True is again just content to play the nice slow game. There was an opening there to potentially uh, convert into some kind of dry dry fight or exchange, but King's True are playing nice and slow. I mean, you gotta remember their playoff. Uh, appearance rides on this match so heavily. I mean, winning this and winning it in uh, convincing fashion uh, is is really, really vital to them making sure that they have a chance at playoffs going forward. If they lose this, I mean, I think yeah. it might be near impossible for them to, to make playoffs. Yeah, we got two minutes left on the round timer right now, so... Whew, 30 minutes at one point cap. We're gonna see Psy Guy and Trip getting aggressive in Valley, and Speedy's just gonna kind of die on flank to them instead of leaving and that's gonna be a pick for um king screw here we'll see if they want to bear goes this, down bear to a pipe from alex oh my lord that's the most disastrous thing that could possibly happen and alex jumping in doing so much damage to jared count uh pop in here from may kev finishes up jared but three players behind him valley from king screw but they're so low and they know about it and they're just getting cleaned up i mean it just couldn't get better for Rat Jail there. I mean, the drop. I don't know. There, there's only 40 just... seconds left. I don't know if they can do anything off this. That's they very the kids true. On King's crew, they they went behind it. They distracted. There's a chance. A there is a chance. We'll not to. They get one on cap and they start working that last push right now, which they are. Shamu going in. 26 seconds and counting down here. They want to make this happen. It, they have to get a pick early. And Trip could be that pick if he goes down here. This alive. could all go south. 17, we need to get a 16 on this heavy seconds. Right now. This is looking. Grim here, but 12 seconds and I don't think they're, they're not going to go on it. Yeah. And yeah, I think this is. Oh, here they kind of come feeding in here. Nah, the they're heavy. all just feeding. This is not Uber anything. Comes out, but... Wow, a 1 0 first up. half. Wow, that was um quite the quite the slugfest there. I mean, we got Sandblast just hitting tab right now. Sandblast on four dominations right now, right as the round was over. So he's sitting next to her. He's taking heals. He's not taking any any one v ones. I'm keeping my medic alive. So we'll see. Um, take a look at the logs really quick. As what's standing out to you here, Patty? Uh, well, one of the biggest things uh, standing out to me is uh. Shamu's frags, actually. Yeah. Shamu's yeah. frags are really standing out to me. Yeah. I mean, he's got 21 on the board uh, with Sandblast in second place there with the 18 frags. Low DPM, but just that's a lot I of mean, kills a from Shamu. That's it's a, a lot of kills from Shamu. In what? a stalemate situation. <laughs> something, something standing out to me is Trip's going 420 right now. Four frags and 20 deaths. <laughs> wow. He's the ideal gamer right now. And it doesn't see, get better um, than that.
It does not. Bear almost out fracking his roamer on the medic class. You hate to see it. And then Jarrett, as well as me, he's got 11 deaths to only 5 frags with 166 DPM. He's looking a little low on the scoreboard, you know? But, I mean, it's hard to play Demoman when Psy Guy and Sandblast are vacuum vacuuming up about 55% of your heals. Yeah, it's very difficult. Both <laughs> demos really not having, like, a, a particularly good showing. I mean, Alex had that really nice pipe play on the bear, um, but... Uh, both of them is really not showing up in any manner that's that's dictating the game. I mean, it's so slow, and what ends up happening is you're just trading roamers back and forth. I mean, trip for trip. I mean, I know I know the call that's being made. They're like, okay, we're gonna play slow. All right, let's sack trip in. Trip's gotta go. He's gotta put the boots on the gunboats, and he's gotta go in there, and he's gotta. All right, I'm doing it for the team, and then he goes in and he sacrifices himself for the team. Just to see if something can happen. I mean, I will say, though, that Tripp and Yosh had some incredible plays on the last there. And, and, and that was the most exciting part of the match uh, thus far. It's just those, seeing did. those two do those two-man <clears throat> sacks when, it, when push came to shove. But ultimately, both teams are really playing so slow, so scared. And, and they're just messing up every advantage they have. Uh, miscommunication, nerves, or whatever. I mean, again... For King's Crew, this match means a lot. And for, for Rachel, in a similar manner, it also means a lot to them. You know, they're trying to assert themselves as, like, you know, a nice top playoff team and, you know, getting securing that next win. And I do know there's a bit of there, – there is a bit of a rivalry between these two teams. Uh, so I'm sure that's playing a role into people's nerves and, and stuff like that. So yeah, I mean, any thoughts on uh, yeah on the sorry. second half going forward? There's uh two. Yeah, you know, sorry, I, I forgot to keep. I started talking, but I forgot to keep my mic. You know, I'm not very smart. And it's the first time doing this. Please don't make fun of me. Anyway, <laughs> get a load of um, this guy. Am I right? Come on. <laughs> what I was about to say is that you know, even though it's only a 1-0 scoreline right now. King's crew has been in the driving seat for the most part. You know, they probably pushed in the last probably about 25 times, only able to make one successful push, though. So we'll have to see if they're able to um, convert these last pushes where they have these uber advantages, they have these player advantages. You've got to make these pushes count, you know? You don't get a lot of them, you know? I think King's crew's been lucky that Bear's been able to stay alive for the most part whenever they've been failing these last pushes to keep them in it, but... <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, I think at this at this level, if you want to make your run into playoffs, if you want to stay competitive with these other teams, you got to make these pushes count. Um, and then uh, as well as that, um, you know, I, got, I got to say, I just saw, I just looked at this. Kev's got 11 minutes on Engineer. He's probably loving his life right now. <laughs> yeah, that's the last whole city for you right there. I mean... <laughs> He's got to do what he's got to do. Somebody's got to got to do it. Somebody's got to play the NG. And it, I mean, it's just looking rough here for Ratchet. I mean, yeah, it's a 1-0 scoreline, and yeah, they did have a chance at a round there. But, but realistically, I feel like King Screw's been in control of the game for the most part. Every every uh, you know, a flubbed last push, uh, King Screw get out with their med, and they can just keep resetting and and doing it over and over again. But I do agree that King's crew do need to start converting these into rounds. I, I think a lot of it comes down to rushing. Uh, you know, just certain players on the team not being ready. Sam Blast wants to close out the rounds. He is a very intense player when he plays, and sometimes he can get a little heated and ahead of himself. So uh, I definitely think they just need to, you know, be a little bit more methodical about the pushes that they're going to do before they do them. Um, but Ratchel really, really need to start... Uh, figuring out ways to just get out of last because they're they they aren't having it right now and i mean they might have to start doing some riskier plays in order to do that and that might involve trading out of last it's dangerous but if you can do it right it's it's definitely a viable way to get to the next point yeah i mean it's hard though i mean they got they've got both their scouts committed to off classes so it's hard to swap off and get ready to push by the time you got swapped by the time you can coordinate and ready to go I mean, all the spawns are up on the side of the other team. It's it's difficult, especially on this last push with the such a big threat of back caps because you got lower, you got top, you got um, battlements. You know, you got there's like three different entrances into the lower lobby area, and then there's two up top. You know, you got to cover all of them, and you got to keep an eye on them because if you don't keep an eye on them, 
someone's gonna slip behind while you're trying to fight second. It's 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 tough to to not get back kept on this map, especially. Um, but yeah, other than that, you know, I think I want to see I want to see Shamu and, and Alex just walk forward and and just frag out. I think that's how um, Jail's gonna gonna pull ahead in this. You know, if they if they just put trust in their in their in their fraggers to go forward. You know, Shamu's been doing it a couple of times. He walked forward and and did some things when he was walking forward, but I feel like if he's just sitting here on, on engineer, sitting here on slamper, he's not really, they're not putting themselves in a position to succeed, I guess. Yeah, definitely a hundred percent. I think that, I mean, Ratchel being the team down the round, I mean, they're definitely the team that needs to pick up the pace themselves so that they can get out of this. Cause right now, I mean, Kingscrew are, are playing a very, you know, they're kind of like an anaconda right now, slowly but surely just choking and squeezing you out for every last round they can get. And they're gonna, and, and I don't think they're gonna shift that style of play. So it really is on Ratchel to not put themselves in those positions. And when they are in those positions, I mean, the one moment that they busted out there was Shamu, like you said, he just got a bunch of frags. They got a force there with Alpha, and, and that just raw uninhibited aggression did so much for them and they need to tap more into that if they really want to start coming back from this game i mean again it's not much of a comeback that they need to make but it is one nonetheless i agree so who is who is your player of the match so far in this in this first half since we're still waiting for them to uh to ready up here uh my player of the match thus far is i mean i really gotta give it to uh, probably Bear, I think. Uh, Bear has been playing really consistently. I mean, barring that one random pipe, he's getting in with his team in the last, and then every time things are going a little south, he's like, all right, I'm out, I'm out, guys. I'm not risking my life here. I'm not going to die with you. And he's been maintaining his ads no matter what. He's done a very good job, especially when you compare it to just, you know, the sort of threats that May's been dealing with. It's just Bear has been playing a pretty, pretty solid game. Thus far, yeah, Bears, I think. Bears been, Bears been playing safe. Maze been trying been having to hit these big stirs, hit these arrows to keep alive, but Bears just he's staying he's playing in position to keep himself alive. He doesn't have to make those big plays to, to stay up. Um but maybe if he committed a little bit more with his team, they might they might be might be one of some of these last pushes, you don't know. But we'll see. We'll go on to our third mid, I think, right? Yeah, third mid. And we'll see Jarrett getting to mid a little bit faster than Alex, but Alex has been hitting these early stickies. See if he's able to do it again. A really fast bomb here from the trip. He's gonna get on the point as well. And Speedy is just gonna end up on the other Tetris. Looks like we're just kind of chilling here, waiting for some rotation as uh, both teams are gonna kind of spiral around the point, countering each other. Uh, Jared's gonna go really low here. He's not really looked up with his medic. He's just gonna go down to some damage from Alex. And Speedy is gonna go down as well on the other side, but it's 5v4 right now. Bear's gonna get really low. He's gonna hook up with Psy Guy as Alex is gonna feed, but Sandblast is not with his medic. And. Uh, the player advantage for Rail Jail is just going to be too much for Kingscrew, and they're going to wipe. And yeah, they that mid, alive. That mid was so, so, so aggressive from them, and I just think that, I mean, they did exactly what I thought they needed to do, which was change the pace of the game. They just sort of committed players, uh, like, really aggressive. Alex got a lot of damage off on Jarrett, and they just all followed up on that damage from Alex. And it's looking like a full ad push here. And I mean... Let's really see here if if if, uh, if Rachel, maybe they have some magic that King's crew are lacking in pushing last, and we'll see if they can just convert this straight into a round. And Shamu now peeking into the lobby here. Uh, it looks like they want to go top left here with Alex and the scouts. They lead in on the scouts. Alex getting uh, a third flash here. The gun going down. No picks from anybody. Alex clearing stickies on point. Uh, Sai goes down, but a trade with Shamu and. This is not looking good for uh, Ratchel here as uh, Sandblast on the Heavy is just kind of saying, Nope, you shall not pass. <laughs> yeah, and, and Al was going to go down at the end there. He's going to fail a rocket jump and, and just kind of feed. That was a really good play from Kings. I don't know if you saw that, but they had six players stacked top right from their perspective on last. And as soon as the Uber came out, they just all rotated left and stayed left. But as we see a push here with Sandblast already on the second point, leading his team forward. Um, Bear still with the 50% Uber advantage that's dwindling right now. As uh, as Mason Jr. We see a bomb here from Speedy. He's gonna get the assist on Sandblast as Jail's gonna be fighting this. But I don't know. The Uber's already up for Bear. Sky guy goes really low as well, and they don't have their pocket scout. So I think it's gonna slow down this push just a little bit as Speedy is still dead though. 
Oh, but King's crew, push though, still valley. pushing through Valley. It's going to be a trade here. I don't know if they're fully aware of it, but Sai trading in. Yosh solo. The HP on King's crew is so bad, and Valley's a terrible position to be in. As the follow up from Alpha, Ooh, so nice much damage. Ratchel killing Jarrett, and oh my goodness, this is going to turn into a dry Jared. push here. Jared got uh, balled, and he's going to go down. And we Trip out. jumping out here, trying to make some. You know, getaways that he can, and challenging Speedy. He's got to kind of beat there, getting aggressive. And I know Rat Jail are feeling it. I mean, this is a slow game. They're like, finally, some action. Alpha leading the charge right now with Alex.exe in. They're getting so aggressive. Yosh on heavy. Uh, still down trip on the side of Kingsrew, but she moves so low. The HP is not good for anybody right now. But the pick's in favor of Rat Jail. Speedy jumps deep, kills Bear and Yosh. Getting Sandblast real low as the cap goes off, and Alpha finishes it off, dying in the process. Wow. Rat Jail yeah, they... just completely picked up the pace there. What great gameplay from them at the end there. That was huge. I just want to say a shout out to Bear, standing on some stairs, avoiding the splash from Speedy, Speedy point blank. Gonna keep himself alive, but Speedy is gonna finish that frag off. Speedy. Jarrett getting a bit faster than Alex. Both that moment is missing the stick he has. Trip's gonna walk under the point. Really fast bomb from Speedy again. He's gonna get Jarrett this time, and he's gonna go down immediately as um, Trip takes a lot of damage as well. I think. I think. Sorry. Ooh, Bear's just gonna go down as well. He's just gonna get killed and get oh, spammed. Oh, this, this is all a huge falling mid. apart for King's crew right now. This could be a full wipe. Yoshi does get Alpha, but man, six people dead. The fast rollout exerting so much pressure on a Jarrett there. And and May lives and Bear dies, and I mean this this could be another round when you're at this level, full Uber add in alas tends to mean rounds, barring some very, very bad beef. I didn't like King's Crew staying in there after they lost they lost their demo and trip was half health. And they just all ate a pipe and choke and that was they should have just left as soon as they were down those players. They didn't they had no business staying in there. Um let's we'll see where we take this Uber and they got a gun going up on the far left side for a sandblast. Um, Shimu's gonna take a body shot as we're gonna get healed up. It looks like they're gonna do a top left, top right. Yeah, no, the same go Uber as last time coming in here, top left. Speedy going down though from a headshot, and not many frags going out from uh, Ratchel. They didn't even kill the gun really, and Kingscrew doing such a good job of this defensive hold uh, behind point here. And Alpha's gonna go down two picks and. 80% charge on Bear, they're going to want to push on this ad. It's, uh, I'm not sure if this left push is really working for them. They might want to change the doorway. Speedy is on Spy, though, here as this push out from King's Crew is coming up. And we'll see if he can get a stab off back cap looking to be impossible. Yeah, the, again, 100% even charge for Bear here. We'll see what they're able to do. It looks like... I don't know, the King's Crew is just really slow. Is Jared just dies in some sticky spam? What? Yeah, Jared How goes that... down. Speedy gets picked off. And I think it's going to be another stalemate. King's yeah, Crew didn't really want to push. Demo. How does how does Jarrett die there? That's, that's unbelievable. He just died to some sticky or the trap from choke. I'm not really sure what happened, but it's going to stump the push. Speedy's so dead. Let's see if he wants to come up another off class. One to one now in the second half. 24 minutes left to go. Looks like we are going to have Kev come back and swap to sniper as Speedy is going to check off classes on the side of King's Crew. So we're gonna have the Speedy Sniper, or Kev, excuse me, Kev Sniper. Speedy's probably gonna come back on Soldier in just a moment. There he goes. And we'll see what kind of angles you're able to, he's, um, Kev's able to work. I don't like sniping from this mid to second. There's not very many angles you're, you're able to, uh, to work here. Yeah, there's not a lot, and it's very risky to peek out deep. You can endanger not only just your sniper, but your whole team in doing it. I mean, I actually would have really liked to see Speedy stay on Spy. Like, uh, no joke, I would have liked to see them run the double off class, because that could have really thrown uh, Kingsford for a loop there. But they didn't do it, and now they're just working the sniper again. But, you know, they just kept peeking deep here, but Trip just kind of trying to challenge that, not giving him any space, any angle right now. Um, yeah, there's a lot of spam going off, and uh, yeah, one thing that happened. this um, the sniper can do though is it can kind of force Bear into a certain position. That way, when you're bombing a soldier, in, you know exactly where the next going to be because he has to play in a certain spot to not get headshot from these uh, from these sight lines. So we'll see if that comes into play. So Bear has to pretty much stand behind the point on these stairs, which is honestly not an ideal position. But again, it's so he's so far back that it's gonna be hard for um, Speedy to get in. Let's say he's walking through Cafe now, and he's just gonna show him where he is by spamming some rockets at Bear. And I don't know, like I, I don't think you're gonna get a pick with the sniper on the medic. You're gonna have to find someone else's hit, maybe the demo who's on point, or maybe one of these soldiers that's kind of spamming him out, or have a bomb going on to Bear when he's in these um, not ideal positions for a bomb. 
Oh, he's gonna get a body shot though. Kev had a chance there. He's gonna take, hit a hit a alpha on the follow up bomb. Oh, here he comes. Trying to get in on Bear. Double bomb on Bear from two soldiers. Bear has to use, but they are gonna lose two for that. But again, full add on May here. They just need to back up here, play really defensive, and lure them in. Use the sniper to see if he can pick anything off and just wait yeah, for the respawn. I want to see. I want to see King's crew use in here because they're basically down three with Kev on sniper. They might be able to get this point. Or May is positioning here. kind of Ooh, poor Sam though. Speeds. Getting caught uh, by damage here, and he does have to use inevitably. Samlas does go down, and probably Jared as well. Air pipe from Alex. That exe. Um, and two dead on the side of Kingscrew, and Ratchet also just convert this into an easy drive. Oh, trip, trip goes deep. in and dies. Cyan deep though, so much damage. Can Yosh follow up? Yes, he can. Getting two picks on Alex and should move. Big surf from Bear. Bear just got out. A that was a huge surf from Bear to keep himself alive away from Speedy. He surfed from the low ground up onto battlements to keep himself alive and keep his team in this as the Ubers are going to even out. And since Alex, since Yoshi had those crucial frags onto Alex and Shamu, uh, Rail Jail is not going to be able to push in. They still have the sniper too, so Kev's going to be working an angle here. Um, and we'll see what they're able to do, but Shamu's on spy. They got the double off class. We'll see what. Ooh, I like this. Yeah, this is interesting. I don't know if I don't know if they're they eavesdropping to... on the cast oh. or not, but uh, Shimu gets caught out uh, right away. The spy is just not working for anybody. I think everybody's. I think spy should just be banned from the rest of this match. All right, uh, Trip's it's not working for anybody. Confirmed as Trip comes in and feeds. All right, that was Trip's. That he's like Trip's. Like I've got too many frags right now. I got to go die right now. Yeah. Um, and... we'll see Shamu. Is going to stay on spy. Kev peeking top okay, right right now. Okay. There's no scouts on the side. Jarek going Ratchet. down Ooh. to that Kev headshot uh, on top right and the gun going down. This is looking really good. And, and Ratchet all just in. Speedy's in. They Alpha's have no scouts, in. Though. And Bear is going to get forced by Alpha. May doesn't even need to use and But he does do the counter pop here. They Again, yeah, like you said, they don't have scouts. And so it's just Alex and Speedy doing what they can to spy on Cloaking, not doing very much. And uh, the HP on Rattail is just so low that that Sai can just kind of clean everybody up. Uh, Honestly, if Shamu's on scout there, they win that ten times out of ten. But I mean, you got the spy; he just uncloaked and hid in the corner. I don't know why he just didn't start revolvering people. Probably would have done better than, than trying to backstab someone. As we see, um, Kings who kind of trying to pressure this point. Yoshi's probably gonna say like, "Yeah, not worth it. Not gonna die for it." They're gonna back out to last. It's about a thirty percent Uber advantage for May, who is not building very well. Um, he is building now, but he, he could have had upwards of 50 to 60 percent add. Uh, as they are climbing up with the Super Sam Blast, he's going to be building another gun. Bear's not building either, though. He's like, yeah, we got to this add. Not, nothing we can do about it. Um, let's see what they're trying to do with this push. Looks like they're in lobby again. Looks like they're looking to go top right. I hope they don't go bottom left again. Yeah, it looks, looks like, like a top right looking. Uber here leading on uh, Shamu. They pop in. Alex following up. Pressuring out the sniper, Alex immediately on the gun. Gun goes down. Pressure on point from Shamu. Baiting it very well, and it looks like they're just going to get the cap because Kingscrew doesn't, you know, follow up on that cap time. Yeah, I don't know. They didn't. I don't know if there were no, you no know, six on the point. Not, not, not a fast enough bomb, but I mean, Al uh, Rail Joe's going to take advantage of that, and they're going to they're going to get some cap. Going to our fourth, fifth mid. We're gonna see Jarrett walking to the right side as um, Alex Last bomb him. in Speedy's from Speedy. Really fast. Jarrett Jarrett does go down. Wow, Alpha in now as well. Jumping in, kind of feeding there. Not really a great bomb, but Alex and company are just shoving Bear out of the mid, and Alex wants more. He's behind Bear. He's trying to kill him. Is he gonna get him? No, he doesn't. Sai defending him there. That was kind of chaos there from Alex, and Sai's in deep now. Trying to see if he can push out back. May, and, and, and it is going to be a King's Crew middle. Alex saying, Bear, die. He wanted that kill real bad. That was crazy from Alex. <laughs> Size shotgun finally making an appearance. As Speedy's in from the flank, unknown, and he's gonna get a lot of damage on Bear. Bear is gonna stay alive as they push in from Ratchet in. Bear doesn't have Uber yet. He's only at 80%. This force is really, really bad though. That was, what was that? That was that was interesting. They kind of walked forward, lost the scout, and then Ubered, and then and then left with their Uber. I, that was that was interesting. I like the aggression there, but there was not really much much to push off of.
Yeah, I wish I could tell you, but I don't know the answer. And evidently, here comes Sai and company through Valley here, just pressuring them out. Ratchel really giving it up without a fight. I'm not sure I agree with that, because this uh. ad is now going to be able to be used going straight into the last, and Sandblast going straight lower. Sniper watching, though. Flash is coming out here. Sandblast and Sai in deep. The gun not down for Ratchel, but Kev is cleaned up. And right now, the pick advantage in terms of Kingscrew, but Alpha counterbombing with Speedy does get Jarrett. But again, King's crew are just picking off people, playing this top left positioning. Shamu fighting uh, Sandblast and Yo. Shamu doing a lot, though. He is winning these 1v1s, but he just doesn't have the numbers in order to capitalize. And, and the round does go to uh, King's crew here. Yeah, Shamu, Shamu doing his best to fight off five players by himself. Almost won, but we're going uh, eventually. King's crew just going to overwhelm with the player ad, and they're going to take the uh, their second round. So it's two to two coming to this mid. We see Jarrett. Tired of dying the speed, he's gonna go Valley this time. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Low. Trip up top, getting kind of low. Uh, side guy, looks like a right side and middle here from Kingscrew, mirror mid from both teams. Everybody's kind of low. Speedy does go down in the chaos there to Sai and Valley. And uh, just HP so bad for Kingscrew right now. It's just a very slow mirror wrapping kind of mid. Trip with the positioning does get knocked down. And uh, just a lot of spam being traded so far. Nobody wants to commit on anything. I mean, this mid is really important for both teams. Trip, though, again with that bell tower positioning. Alpha challenging up top, seeing if he can get the kill. Nobody's dying, and Alpha finally goes down. And I think this mid's going to go in favor of uh, uh, Kingscrew. But here comes Shamu with the trade. Real early pop, though. This is not looking good for Rachel. They need to get out, and they need to get out fast because Trip and Sai are already in the back line. And they want to get these kills. Trip does go down. Sandblast may live. Kind of roll. Absolute. Uh, I can't believe that Rachel got out there and just kills getting cleaned up in the back line here from uh, from King's crew. Speedy working in Valley. Right in. No, he's just getting out. Trying to. Sai won't have it. He said no. Not on my watch. Wow, what a crazy exchange yeah. there. Uh, Zatu. Still three down though here for um, Ratchel. They're gonna come up with the heavy and the sniper. I don't know if King's crew's gonna be able to push off this player ad now. No, they're gonna back out. They're gonna wait. Or are they? You see the heavy? Yeah, I think once they see the heavy, they're like, eh, nah, not worth it. They're gonna back out to um, second and build up the super. Yeah, that that mid really came down to just tiny, the tiniest of adds and disadds. May took a lot of damage. He had to go leave his team, pick up a health pack, and in that time, his team just took so much damage while bears pumping out the heals. They just couldn't keep up with their with the spam, and they ended up losing that mid because of it. Luckily, through some insane juke of the gods may is able to escape i don't know how they let that happen but he is so we're gonna be in the situation now with um even ubers Prolander set up on the side of rat jail here one of each class as sandboss is gonna run in to a sniper bullet and die we'll see probably a an off class here i'm expecting as a bomb in from alpha it's gonna go into the skybox and do zero damage yeah, this is familiar territory uh, for us here Ooh, at Zatu. Trip. Yeah, Trip in the aggro <laughs> gets denied by the Pyroshim who with the immediate cleanup there. This is familiar territory though, just this sort of King's crew working that last. Again, I mean this next round, if they milk enough time, if they milk enough time, they can they can just win this one round and then win, win the match, and Shamu oh, goes down. Shamu feeds? He was like, he's like challenging. He was challenging the projectile class to shoot something at him, and he, and they did, and he died. I don't know, that was, that was questionable there from Shamu, but Saga, so I think it's really good. Oh, we're already in on the left side here, but Saga is gonna stand still and get headshot, as looks like that pick's not gonna matter. We're gonna trade it out, and we're gonna be chilling here on last again with the sniper from Yosh. A sniper from Speedy, Kev on the Engineer, Shamu on a Pyro again. I don't know, I'm not, I don't really know how I feel about this Pyro. I think he's just kind of there to reflect things away from the Sentry Gun. Um, yeah, you'd think though they'd place it closer to the Sentry if they were doing that. I, I just think, I think they're I mean, trying they're so to deny bombers. bombers. I think this is what the, what the goal of the Pyro is though. And uh, we do Ooh, we see Psy on Spy. Psy on Spy. I mean, this. This could be really unexpected. I don't see Sai off class too much, and maybe maybe he will be the the magic touch that's needed in order to finally get a stab off on somebody in this match. He's creeping he in, He's walking in, walking past Alex, and just lurking, getting info for his team thus far. 
Again, two snipers kind of dueling here, though, uh, at the exact same time that this spy play is happening. Um, I chilling by the exit. <laughs> yeah, I like I like this I like this um this teleporter here from uh from I think Kev. That way, when um, May gets bombed, he can stand on the teleporter and go to the opposite side of uh, of last. Side standing right behind Speedy on Sniper. He's trying to decide when he wants to go, but he, Speedy keeps moving around. Oh, he walks past him. There you go. He, got, he made it. He made he it. He weaves he past that. him. But oh, you, know, you, you kind of at this point now where Kingsker hasn't been doing anything for the past two minutes. You know, they might expect something. I would like to see Trip kind of go and feed here, trying to keep the, like, say, hey, yeah, we're still, we're still, we're still doing this. They're working the sniper here from Yosh. He hasn't been hidden much. Oh, Sai's in a better position now. He's right behind the medic, but there's a pyro right there on the dispenser with him. You got to be careful when you're uncloaking here. Yeah, mm. realistically, I really think Trip should be bombing in, getting the gun to shoot at him. And oh, what Sai just uncloaked? Sai gets the stab, but May doesn't even turn around. Doesn't even react. Nobody noticed. And he just gets the kill on May, and Kev gets headshot. I mean, this is going to be so clean for King's crew, barring some real bad beef. And Speedy's in, going down. Shamblast cleaning oh, up both just... Speedy and Shamu. And it looks like this, this round's just going to go off in their favor. And it yep. is. My god, I cannot believe that Sai got away with that. He whiffed his first stab, too. And he got the second one. That was, that was, that was, <laughs> that was as comical as it gets. That was great. All right, we'll see this, uh, our next mid. Alex is really fast. Jared is, um. He's taking the scenic route. He's just now arriving on mid, but Speedy, Speedy has no idea. Speedy choke, kind of just feeding, though. Um, and that's just an early pick for King's crew. Again, King's crew getting a lot of positioning here, and, and Rajal are like, no, we're not going to wipe here. We've had enough. We lost a guy. We, we can't just be throwing away rounds here. Let's hold second. Let's hold second. Let's slow it down. But uh, might not be the best thing for, for them, considering that King's crew already round up, and there's 10 minutes left. And, I mean, this clock can go down uh, pretty quickly here. Yeah, Jared. Jared's tired of dying to uh, to Speedy on mid, so he's like, "I'm just not gonna go to mid." <laughs> Big brain play there from Jared, not doing his rollout, but we'll see. Um, we see some aggression here from King's crew in Valley. Um, looks like they're trying to set up for a sack here. Sci guy comes in aggressive, gets some good damage on his Speedy. But he's gonna eat a pipe and have to back out. As You're Alex picking off Alex. Tripping yeah. from the flank gets gets onto Alex for free. That's a pretty big pick. I don't. We're gonna see a push here from King's crew. Let's see where they want to go. They're just gonna go through Cafe here. Not have to worry about sticky traps as um, Sandblast is still checking for them anyway. Side guy's gonna walk in here as. I mean, I want. They don't have trip to bomb in here, and Jareth not about the Uber, so they can't really deal with these people standing on the high ground. And Alex is gonna arrive, so they're gonna waste that advantage that they that they had. Yeah, I really would have liked to see like a fast trade on to Rachel there while Alex is dead because they can't hold all the doors and, and just play for the post uber from there from King's crew just have King's crew overwhelmed with players getting behind uh, with their uh, in the chaos of the uber but they didn't really go for anything and we're just again back to square one here as Psy guy bombs in faking and trip following up for the real commit on the May and May super Ooh. low he does milk that that could have been very bad though that was wow. a big air shot on Trip. May currently attempting to walk up some stairs and is finally going to accomplish that feat. And he's going to walk over with his health. That's still pretty low. But he's going to get the health back. And I mean, King's Crew's fine with that. They're just going to sit here and staff Trip all day if it's going to keep um, keep um, Rat Joe from pushing. They're sitting all the way back on mid. Nothing to do here. Jarrett's kind of far forward compared to the rest of his team. But now that they got that trip spawn, we're going to we're gonna wait once more. Kev up on the sniper as well as Yosh on the sniper. Just trying to slow this down even more. I don't understand why Kev is on sniper here. I actually do not get it. Ratchel needs to be on the offensive here. I mean, uh, King's crew, unless they get a, a, a real solid opportunity to push and commit in a second, I highly doubt they're going to do it. Why would yeah. they? If they win, if they lose this match, playoffs is a bust. There's no way. There's no way they're going to do it. Having a defensive sniper is not the way to push out of second. And I mean, yeah. if he goes down here to this Yosh we see the duel here, I mean, this could be really bad. Nobody, oh, Sandblast getting low there from the Kev shot, but. Yeah, this um, this sniper position that he's got right up on bats or near bats is, is really good for denying the push in the second. It's really good for that, but there's no, like I said, there's not many angles on to mid. Bear's going to be pretty much safer unless he, he just walks into a sightline, which is very not unlikely from him. Ooh. As Yosh is going to lose the sniper duel to, to Kev, and we'll see if they 
finally want to sack someone here on the side of Ratjat. But size aggressive and choke kind of denying the sniper. And they are getting aggressive here. They got five players sitting in the choke point right now as Speedy's going to get it from the flank and leads through choke. Yeah, that and is just that play not good for Ratchet. It's just going to go back to normal. I, I don't know. You yeah, they really the made nothing here. of it. They really made nothing of that. They really just. Peek their sniper. Again, like, what can you do when you have a pick and you're running a sniper? I mean, you can't really exploit the flanks. You don't... Your, your flank scout is on sniper. I, I don't like this at all, and this could be costing them the game, running the yeah. sniper in, in the second hold. They really need some form of offense. Again, seven minutes right now, uh, counting down. And, I mean, again, King's crew are just going to keep taking their time. They don't need to rush this. And here comes, here comes a bomb side. from Trip. And sure. May getting low again, not using. I'm scared for May. I'm really scared. He keeps testing these soldiers, and I just hope to God that, you know, for <laughs> his sake, that they don't hit the shot. Yeah, Yoshi's going to be off the sniper now, back to the scout. Ooh, as uh, we have a bleed. So Sai's going to go down in Valley. Finally, Shamu's pressing somewhere. He's just going to be like walking. He's like, fine, I'm doing it myself, guys. Get out of my face. He's going to walk forward this Uber now. Get on the Jer Jared's caught out by himself. He's going to go down as well. Bear's too far back to save his demo. Um, looks like he's just going to get out here with their Uber and stay alive. As Yosh goes down in Cafe as well. They're going to have to back up. They have the Uber. With only four players alive. That was a huge misplay from Jared. What is he doing so far forward? They're already down two players. They can't afford to lose that demo. Um, Ratcho finally got the break that they needed. And looks like they're trying to pressure in a second right now. It's at their two player advantage. Bear's going to walk forward with this Uber here. May cannot get caught out as uh, Asael gets sent to the skybox with the Uber. So the Uber's not really going to be able to do much as they're still attempting to kill the soldier. Bear's on the low ground here. His scout just left him. But he's going to be able to get out to his um, the rest of his team as um, Ratcho's going to be pushing in through Cafe, but they're going to get take a lot of damage. Looks like they're just going to back up and wait for their Uber charge. Ooh, picks going off in Cafe there. Trip and Yosh cleaning up Shamu. I mean, that looks really good from Ratchel uh, to begin with, but they just kind of uh, overcommitted, I think, players into that dry and, and in an attempt of forcing. And now they've just given back mid to King's crew. Again, who are just, I'm happy to sit on mid, but here comes the Uber here from May and company through Cafe. They're getting in really deep. This could be bad if Bear and Jared get caught. Jared going down, Bear solo. Bear going down. Oh my god, this is a near wipe. Absolute chaos here. Trip though on the follow-up, trying to see if he can salvage in the skybox is getting picked off. Nothing he could do and just Sandblast alive. May living, so he's gonna have Ad going into this push and Sandblast is doing what he can. This is looking like it could be very quickly a round. Sandblast in a 1v1 does get to trade on Alpha, helping ever so slightly. But I mean, it is 20 Ad here and it's very pushable for uh, Rat Jail if they do it right and build. Mm, they're not building though, it's only down to a 10% advantage and um, you know, Trip almost got on the medic there, he got sent to the skybox and uh, Shampoo rudely denying the air shot with his pistol. The Alpha on Sniper, they are like, yeah, this we don't have this 20 ad, now it's a 20 ad, they've been building, I think Bear thinks that it's a larger ad on the side of um, Rat Jet, but Alpha on Sniper. Ah, what are these sniper plays? I mean, I know they have a lot of snipers on Rat Jail, but... I don't agree with this. You're you're down a round right now. You're down a round. You're gonna work a sniper with four minutes on the clock. That just that's asking. I mean, that's so much pressure on the shoulders of Alpha. I mean, maybe he'll execute. He was a renowned sniper uh, many many seasons ago. Still is for that matter. So perhaps he is the X factor in closing out this next round for them to go into. What most likely would be a golden cap barring a roll mid. So and look at this. Look at the. <laughs> oh, and he does hit the shot as I say that. Uh, trying to get more on Psy here. Sandblast dead and, and Alpha just taking shots left and right, not really connecting anything. Um, but, you know, if that pick amounts to nothing for them, if they don't get more off of it. Oh, and he does get more. Trip down. Bears now, that's two force. picks. Psy, though, oh, just gets two picks with too. a shotgun. Uh, from the two-man sag, Uber better here from uh, Mace uh, Squadron as a a Scythe kind of feeds in and oh my god, it all crumbled around. What was I saying there, Zatu? How dare I question Alpha Sniper Honestly, creating openings there for uh, <laughs> Rattail to get those two players in from the flank and just get the force off. Wow.
didn't see that. I, yeah, coming. honestly, I don't, I don't know why you didn't expect Alpha just to hit every shot ever. Like, what do you, what do you, what do you think? What do you think's going on? Anyway, um, we're going on to our next middle. Um, Alex, that EXT is really fast, and Jared again decides not to come to mid. And Speedy knows that that game's up, so he's gonna delay and go into cap A. And we see another slow mid here from Kingsford. They got a soldier behind them right now, so you gotta be careful about that. They're just gonna push forward here. Really aggressive here from Shrimp. He's gonna be on the demo, not to the frag though. Bear's kinda low, and he's gonna stay around his scout, but he's kinda losing out on this fight. They got it. They honestly just have to go for May here. They have to stay in, and they have to get for, go for May. They are gonna get stuck out, and they can't escape. They just have to try to get on the med here. May's really far forward here though. And Saiga's gonna go down. They do get made. That's huge, because Bear's gonna end up dying here. Eventually. Oh, maybe not. He's got the scout. And he's he's building up soon. that Uber here. And Sandblast nice. pops it in and gets two. Can he get the third? Yes, he does. Full meat in all three of those shots from Sandblast. Ah, oh, wow. And it's going to turn out to be a roughly even Ubers here as soon as uh, May connects Ooh, with but this player. Ooh, did get the, get the Ford spawn, though. They did get the, 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 um, the cap, so they are going to get five of their players to the Ford spawn. And Sandblast just come in with the meat. He just slapped them with the salami and he was like, yeah, I'm winning this, guys. Don't worry about it. And we're going to see Speedy being really aggressive in the show, trying to deny this push. It's a 3-3 game right now, so we're going to see um, just the Ubers kind of even up here. You know, um, May died so early in that fight that he's just it's going to be even. By the time he got up, the Uber was wearing out for Bear. So we're going to see even Ubers here. I'm going to be interested to see what... Um, Kings crew are gonna want to do because they got a minute 30 left right now, and they're gonna be wanting to pressure with somebody onto um, these um, into onto Rat Joe, you know, because once it gets to a certain point where they can't lose if the timer's so low, so it's only their it's their it's their time to make a move here. Yep, here they go, a minute and ten right now, peeking in the valley, working a valley play. Looks like they want to get trip maybe in from from the flank here. I'm not exactly sure what their approach is. Yosh pushing in on on Speedy there. Trying to see if he can get a kill. He does go down, and whatever play they went for there just ended up not working out. Jared not paying attention to choking. Kevson deep does meet the pipe of Jared there, and uh, it's just an equalized pick there um, for for both teams. And it's 45 seconds. I'm not sure what the play is here. I mean, Kings Group could try for a very epic and glorious trade that could lead them in a, a round, but the clock is ticking, and every second that goes down, I mean. <laughs> trip dying to a trap that Ooh, bear gets called out, and I think I think they're just gonna play for the golden cap here. Now, looks like we're just chilling here. 24 seconds left. They tried to get in at bear fed, or sorry, trip fed, and now we're gonna see. Yeah, people just standing around waiting for uh, something to happen, and you know, jail's not gonna do anything. They're just gonna sit here and be like, yeah, we're, it's not, it's not, it's not worth it for them to uh, to try anything. Seven seconds left. And we are going to stalemate out as Yosh adds one more death to the stats for himself. And both Megs pad their stats by using Uber. And we're going to go to a golden cap. Wow, that would uh, be two within this week that we've uh, seen Zatu. And I mean, if you compare this match to the match we just watched from Kingsford versus Dunk, I mean, the flow of the game is so much slower and com compared to the fast-paced action we saw from uh, Dunk versus Kings for this game, is just a lot, a lot slower. And you yeah, see I'm off classes frequently from both teams, both of them running sniper very often, and spy to very little success at that. Yeah, Kev's making a making a run here for engineer of the season right now, playing NG on last, putting a gun down, smacking it very well. But I mean, I think if you take if you just like look at this game, you take a couple snapshots of the positioning and the Ubers and all the situations like that, you'd be like, wow, King's Cruise would in this game. Ah, probably like a 5-2. But in reality, we're coming here with 3-3. Three, three. Rat Jail has had four, maybe five attempts to push in the last, and they've been capitalizing on probably at least 50% of their attempts because they, they like, that's that's the difference here in this game. King's Cruise has been able to push in the last, have all these attempts, get all these advantages, but they just keep, like, just, just, just bailing it out in the end. When it comes down to it, they're not making the clutch plays that they need to. Meanwhile, Rat Shales, they've been, they've been having these small advantages, and they've been taking advantage of every single one. Yeah, I mean, every time that uh, Rat Shales needs to bring it, they do bring it, and King's Crew has so many more opportunities. Again, as you say, if you look at it maybe just from a pure positioning, and just if you like took a snapshot of each bit of this game, it just looks like King's Crew's in control, but... The problem arises is that every time they do make a mistake, 
King's crew are making the worst mistakes possible. They're wiping, they're going down. And I would like to say as well, the Rat Jail's mids have gotten better and they're really taking control of, uh, of the mids, which is 100% helping. I mean, uh, in my honest opinion, uh, TF2 is a game of mid fights. Um, and if you can wipe a team on mid, you know, almost every time you play a mid, the chances of you winning the round are so high. That, yeah, and and, and Ratchet have just taken away a lot of the mids here in this in the second half. So Kings Crew need to start, you know, picking up their mid play, which just just you know Trip and 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 Psy kind of getting a little caught out with their bombs, not really playing together. I notice, and so that's they really need to work on their coordination because Alpha and Speedy are in and they're in deep and together, and that contrast is really screwing them over. Yeah, so you take a look at these stats, the combined stats for um, both um, both halves. We see Psy coming in with the fat top damage, fat top frags, just but oh, second top, excuse me, right but no, um, below Shamu. Um, how many heals does he have? 28%, 18,000 heals. That's what I like to see from a pocket soldier. Um, but for the most part, we see Psy turning up when Sandblast with the frags. And I see Shamu putting the team on his back. You know, he's been the one that I've been seeing. It's kind of stood out in that second half, walking forward, making things happen, getting frags. He's been, he's, he's been. It's been fun to watch him this that for that second half. He's been. He was like, yeah, you know, what? I'm bored. I'm walking forward. I'm over it. Let's go. Yeah, it's interesting to point out Shamu's gameplay there. He did have a bit of a stint on flank scouts somewhat recently, and I recall playing against that myself. And Shamu's flank scout always really did impress me. He had really good sense of timing, really good aggression, and obviously he does have the DM to back it up. So it's really nice to see him just create these aggressive openings for Ratchel, just because I know he can bring it, and, and he, yeah, he really is kind of putting the team on his back in that regard. Yeah, and then um, what else are we looking at the stats here? I mean, both medics just staying alive, doing doing really well. I think both Shamu and Sandblast have been doing really well on the pocket scout. Sandblast turning up on that mid as well to keep his team alive in that fight. That was that was awesome. You, you know, you'd, you'd love to see stuff like that. That was really good. Big clutch situation here. That there, or excuse me, there for Sandblast. Um, but I mean, what are we looking for in this golden cap? You know, I'm kind of, I'm honestly, I'm kind of worried about King's crew. I think. Um, that these their mids have not been strong in the second half. Speedy's kind of realized that if he does these uh, fast rollouts, Jarrett really doesn't have an answer. He's kind of been going slow valley to to avoid it, but then uh, Rat Jail adjusted and they've been taking a lot more position because they know that the early damage isn't there, so they just walk forward. And by the time the rest of King's crew arrives, they don't have the position that that Rat Jail has. Yeah, I mean realistically, I mean. Uh, Trip needs to be mirroring the fast rollout and, and putting in that kind of pressure just as much as Speedy is onto onto Jarrett. Uh, Trip needs to be pressuring Alex because they're not playing the mids at the start on an even footing at all. At all. I mean, Ratchet will just have the immediate advantage because uh, Jarrett's put into a corner, has to get healed for the first six seconds of the mid, and then now nobody can do anything and Ratchet will just sort of overwhelm them with better health, better damage, better everything. So, I mean, King's Crew definitely need to up their aggression. And my concern is King's Crew in these pressure situations has a tendency to sort of uh, falter and, and, and come, fall into bad habits and, and maybe make a lot of mistakes. And here we are going into this next mid here. I'd like to see if Trip does do the fast rollout this mid and see if he can exert some pressure onto Alex. Not to. Yeah, we see Jarrett is a little bit faster this time. Here comes Speedy, though. He's not going to do the fast rollout, so he's going to wait, and um, Jarrett's going to walk front valley to the right side of it, all the way across, and looks like um, the rest of Kingsley is going to go with him, but here comes the bomb from Speedy, getting a lot of damage on him. Fair, very is going to stay alive, though. He's got to keep working. He's very low here. But the soldiers from Kingsley are just going to run in and destroy the rest of Rat Jail. Wow. It's just the two scouts live there behind the lines, and this is, very, this is not looking good here for Rat Jail as... Um, as we're just gonna stand on the point here, King's Crew's gonna just stand there. Sham Shampoo's gonna walk in. And just just rolled Jared. up and he just, just was like, alright, what's <laughs> he's up? Like, he's like, this is my frag, I'll take it with me. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Wow, but that was that was just a really strong mid. I mean, the soldiers there from, from King's Crew just were like super aggressive. And look at the spike checking from Sam Lassio. They're like, 
they're running a spy, guys. Quick check, and they just start shooting in thin air there, real quick. I mean, you never know. They've been they've been running so many off classes here on the defense. So we're gonna see this full uber out of here for Bear. Looks like they kind of want to take it top right. They're being very careful. They got their soldiers buffed, except for Trip. Trip here comes the uber. Sandblast and Jared taking it in deep top right. Sandblast getting that point pressure, backing it up, resetting. There are sticks on the cone, and Trip does die to it. Jared very low. Two two picks down on King Screw. It looks like Ratchel are gonna hold this. And they do! Oh my lord, this game is not over yet, Zatu. Kingscrew just playing uh, uh, not very well in that last push as Ratchel, you know, just focuses around the heavy and gets that key pick on a trip to start off uh, the momentum yeah, shift. That... And May here now, full add. Yosh on the sniper on the defensive side. This push could make or break either team right now, depending on how this goes. Yeah. Trip getting the early info, he's gonna get caught out. Get the force, Does get the early really. force. That's all and we're gonna get. And are so gone. There's nothing for Ratchel to get. Nothing for Ratchel to get. And King Screw are gonna play the Leapfrog. They do have a sniper though, and that's not really great for pushing out. Yeah, that, I mean, they, it's hard to deal with that heavy out on that last push. They just walked the fourth with the heavy. And they're already in. Ratchel's just pushing in. They don't care about the Uber. They're getting a lot of damage on the Jarrett. Jarrett's gonna stay alive though, Circle. And Bear's gonna get his Uber. Pop it right away. They're gonna kill. Alpha's just walking around behind the Uber. He's gonna get headshot, and he is eventually gonna go down. Alex got caught out as well, so this is gonna be two players down for Rat Chat. No spam, and they're just gonna run out with their scout and their medic. And looks like we're gonna stack the point to try and deny Alex, but he is eventually gonna get that forward spawn. This is probably gonna be holdable for um, Rat Jail since they are coming up on their Uber, and Bear's only at 40%. Uh, yeah, we're just chilling again. We've seen another flip flop as May's gonna get this Uber. He's gonna come start walking through a valley. Yeah, here they come. Yoshi's Looks like they want to use right away. Dalex and Deep gets body shot, so he can't jump in. And they have Trip behind. No frags going in favor of Rachel Yoke. Getting away with a serve with barely any HP. That's gotta be frustrating there for the Rachel team. And it's just gonna be another leapfrog. Nothing going in favor of anybody on either team. Trip still behind. This Speedy's could play a role if Trip can do the pinch. Here it comes, jumping in behind through the choke. May's, so May's gonna out. go down. If Bear can stay alive here, I mean, this is looking great. Back cap though. Just behind them. Back cap though, double back cap here. Sam Blast turning around, doing what he can. And, and Speedy's going straight to last, doing the best he can. Uh, uh, Sam Blast being 1v1 by Shamu. Speedy on last. Oh no. Oh my god. Is he gonna get it? He gets <laughs> it. And that's all she wrote there for King's crew. What a way to lose! What a way to no, lose! That was so bad. They had six. They had Yoshan Sniper still, and they had six players. They had Yoshan Sniper and Trip behind. So they had nobody on the flank, and they just walked five players through choke with Trip behind. That was a really good play to pinch May out and get that medic kill. But they just had two players walking through Valley, and they just stood on the point. I mean. It's just, it's just not the the the, the cerebral play wasn't there for um, for Kings here. They just forgot about their flank and they they all walked through the same door and they got punished for it. I mean, they wanted yeah. to go off the rib advantage, but you can't make those mistakes. You can't just, uh. Yeah, that back half play from Shamu and Speedy though is just so clutch. I mean, even the way they went about it. Speedy just quickly leaves off the cap, grabbing the kick, goes ahead of Shamu. He's trusting Shamu. You got this, bro. I'm going straight to last year. You're going to get it. And then Sandblast tries to engage Speedy. Speedy barely living, grabbing the kit there. Gets another jump off. He's going straight to last. And then, whoa, here comes Shamu, 1v1ing Sandblast, stopping Sandblast from going straight to last to stop Speedy. And, I mean, Shamu won. Yeah, shampoo's been, sham shampoo's been Shamu turning up this won. game. <laughs> and maybe that's the story of the game. Shamu won. Maybe that's what there is to say here. Yeah, I, I'd agree with you. For me, definitely my player in the match, I think, because he... Whew, I, I don't think the comeback's there if, if Shamu doesn't 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 turn up. He he did a lot of work. He did a lot of good plays, and he, he realized, he's like, you know what, May, I'm sorry. You're caught out. Goodbye, kid. I'm on the back cap. He made the right play there, and it worked out for for uh, for him and his team. So that was that was really good there from Shamu, and you know, just all around good play from from um, from Rat Jail to keep their heads in it. And after they went down early, after that that grueling first half, that was a tough first half to watch, and probably even tougher to play. But they stayed in it, and they they did well. So we'll see at the. I mean, there's not much to look at for the for the um for the logs for that golden cap. It was uh. Just pretty back and forth, but overall, 
I mean, there's a couple Ubers being popped, but I think it comes down to when Kings Crew had to push into last, that heavy, I don't know if it was, I don't know if it was Shamu, I don't know who it was, it might have been, or Kev, but that 450 heavy out of spawn after they already used their Uber to kill the gun and <clears throat> pressure into last, and that's just, you, you, you can't, you can't lose your demo that early and kill a heavy, it's just, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, this golden cap could have just as easily been King's Crew in the, you know, they had a really strong mid there in the golden cap, and then they kind of just threw it away, and I mean, for them, that's got to be really frustrating, I mean, that's the whole game, that's the whole game for them, they just get these last pushes, they set themselves up real nice, but when it comes to, you know, the big moment, when it really matters, when it comes to closing out the round, something goes awry every single time and i mean if king's crew's got to be so so frustrated i mean this is this match is essentially you know their their playoff chances are are in probably decimal percent at this point like 0 0.5 you know it relies so heavily on other teams around them just uh getting upset or them upsetting teams that are much better than rat jail in order to even like have a shot and so i mean this has just got to be really really heartbreaking for them i mean yeah that was that was tough i i honestly i gotta say I, every single last push i saw i felt like it was um Psy guy and sam blast walking forward and i don't i i didn't see Jarrett that often he a, a lot of times was getting caught up behind the uber or just was was jumping in and just dying and or just not a part of the fight at all and I, I'm not sure if the, if you want to have a soldier in on that Uber, you gotta have your demo to take down these these heavy classes, the, literally the heavy and the engineer's gun and stuff. And when you don't have that extra damage, you got the Seattle walking for you. He can't do it all himself. You know, the Uber only lasts eight seconds, and there's so many players in front, so grouped up that I think I think Rat Joe really took advantage of Jarrett not really being a part of these last push Ubers. Yeah, hundred percent. And even that aside, I think Kings Crew in general were just playing a very maybe an overly conservative game. I mean, I did play with these guys very briefly myself uh, before this season started. And, uh, you know, I kind of instilled a lot of aggressive values, I guess you could say. And, and to see them play like this, just sort of playing this really slow game. And I mean, it's great if you're winning, but as soon as you start losing, then you're kind of lost and you don't know what to do. I mean, um, you know, this is the style. It, re it really reminded me of watching Seven play from, from back in the old days. And just their slow, grueling style. I mean, again, that's great. If they get those 2-0 rounds on you, you've basically lost. But if they can't get a, a far enough lead and start playing that slow, it's not going to work. And Ratchel just picked up the pace. Ratchel picked up the play, uh, the pace, used their raw aggression. And, I mean, Shamu just had an incredible game. I mean, what it, what is there to say? Shamu, Shamu did a lot for them throughout this game. And, and I just think King's crew the whole time were just on the back foot. There was some sort of – it just looked uncomfortable. Like, they were uncomfortable as a team. And, and Ratchel suffered from a similar problem early on, but they just, I mean, at the end of the day, the team that picked it up in the second half was Ratchel, not King's Crew. Ratchel was the team that picked it up. They improved their gameplay. They just started playing better. And yeah. King's Crew never recovered from their way they were playing in the first half, I think. Yeah, I'd, 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 I'd agree with that. Real Boomer Hours, who remembers seven? Frick my neck. When did you start playing TF2? What is going on? <laughs> Calling you out, kiddos. Seven's one of the newer EU, um, EU teams. If you want to talk about Boomer Hours, we're talking about we're talking about Epsilon. We're talking about Crack Clan. Those, yeah, those, those are, are some real teams. Boomer teams. But, <laughs> those uh, are some real Boomer teams. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, but this was a you know slow match to start with, and then a lot of excitement at the end there, off classing from both teams. And I mean, I mean, there's not much to say. Rat Jail sort of asserting themselves as a as I was saying earlier, like they're they're definitely the dark horse of this season, and I'm curious to see how they'll pit up against uh, future matches and against teams like 100B or High Five Demo Man and, and so on and, and so forth. Um, yeah, all in all, I mean, Rat Jail brought it. Kings Crew didn't. There's really, as a team, they just played more sound. I think maybe Kings Crew had a lot more flashy individual plays, but you know. Those only get you so far, and, and Ratchel just played more uh, sound as a team to close out those rounds, uh, especially right. on the last pushes uh, for those conversions. So yeah, I definitely agree there. In the in the in the, in the clutch situations, Ratchel and, and Shampoo turned up. But we're looking at the uh, take a quick look at the invite um, tables really quick. Hundred Bs are still the only undefeated team right now, but they are behind Freyotech in points by about. 
about a point and, and a little point of a of a point i think i think that's how it is high five demo man behind everybody behind the top two by about eight points at a, or excuse me six points at 11 points and rat joe right behind high five demo man. they're going to go probably above them with this win but we'll have to see after the end of the week how that plays out and then unfortunately king's crew just a couple steps back you know there i think there's a quite a big difference between the top two and then um for position four and five to get into the playoffs so We'll have to see what happens with these upcoming matches, but I think we might already have our um, playoff teams at invite, and we'll just have to see where they where it, where it, where it um, evens out to see who plays who. Yeah, uh, it'll be really interesting to, to see what happens going forward in this season, especially between these uh, top four teams. Um, I mean, Froyo have been practicing a lot again lately. So I'm not sure how much those early results against 100B will come into play, but who knows? You never know. Um, but, uh, yeah, this was a pleasure to cast with you uh, again, Zatu. And uh, pleasure as well having uh, Lucer on the production, on the camera work. You know, always fun, guys. And uh, I really appreciate everybody here uh, tuning in for this uh, relatively exciting match, at least at the end. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's been a pleasure. And... Uh, That'll be us from TFTV signing off. Yeah. One more big shout out to Lucifer for on production. He's putting in the work, doing the time. We'd love to see it.